Alright, what is up guys? Of course, always welcome back to another Wi-Fi Bell, which is truly the scavenger and to go up against Troisky, who is uh, you know, a long time follower from Twitter and always provide really really good teams. And we decided to bring somewhat of a lower tier team, but I actually mixed it up and I realized that you know I have one OU Pokemon and that's absolutely an issue for all the wrong reasons. Luckily I don't believe it's that big of a deal but at the same time i do recognize it at the same time that i said it that yeah yeah that's kind of filthy <laughs> so anyway this is the team i've used um, a few times before but with sarud kicked because sarud is not necessarily all that impressive um i do see one really good thing with this team and that is that he lacks proper switch-ins to um to i was gonna say vikavolt uh, um Pinkurchin, there we go, and um, you know, Sudowoodo looks to be all right. Um, I mean, Dragon is such an easy switching for him turn one, right? I feel that even Sorar could be actually rather annoying. So, and I don't switch necessarily that well to Sorark. Uh, I really hope it leads up with Mill type. I think Sorark is actually quite. Um, Easy switching or easy lead, and it's impossible impossible for me to find out if it is. But um, I like Sudowoodo, so we'll lead off with Sudowoodo. Um, he has two Pokemon, I believe, that are resistant to. Uh, actually, I think about it. Um, that could take a head smash. It still will hurt, but um, at least it connects to everything. But I really hope it leads off with Mill Tanks. So I really can get to punish in there. Um, let's see, he starts off with Faro. This is good. We're absolutely faster. So he can burn me, and that's going to be really, really mildly annoying. Um, actually, no, think about it, it's actually quite annoying. Um, yeah, we don't like that. Yeah, yeah we're switching out here. I don't want to get Wisp. A wild head smash would be phenomenal. Um, I just don't want to do it. Let's see. Electric Surge. Mmm. And he could set up Toxic Spikes. If so, that's going to be also mildly annoying. Let's see. Dark Pulse. Alright, so this is a Sora arc. Yeah, as I said, that's mildly annoying. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I feel like I'm in range. Uh, sending in Bernadictus. Just to kind of sponge. Um, damn, Darples did a lot, didn't it? Um, keeps Darples in. I mean, even if it's resisted, it still hurts. And I think I have like a small advantage with with combo for this battle. Let's see. His switch and see I shouldn't be in the plenty. Uh, God of War is, a, I guess, the right one, and so is the real Configuricus. Uh, Senor Stealth Frogs here, predicting the Configuricus. Um, because I can't do anything with the Configuricus. I feel I said it one time too many. He's really thinking about this, which is good. Um, let's see, to Whitney. Yeah. I know you. Let's get out my rocks. Um, I don't believe it's the worst play in the world if I go for a body press here. I think he can decide to set up his own rocks. But this body press should do a whole lot if he decides to stay in. He is faster, which is awesome. Like, I hate this Pokemon because it's so god I'm speedy. <laughs> and this body pressure do a really good chunk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was crazy. I was like miltering this sucker. <laughs> alright, alright, focus. Um <laughs> So I have a neutral play in Earthquake. And um he could mill drinks through this, I think. But would he? 
I mean, who, who wouldn't? But Protagon is such an easy play, isn't it? Ah, oh, we're quick in any way. I, I don't believe in Milterings here. Mad lad. Absolute mad lad. And the Pearlization. At least I can't get burned, which is nice. That means that Config Rika is gonna struggle versus me, uh, which is kinda nice. <laughs> so we'll take the good with the bad a little bit. Um, but the way I see it, like, God of War is gonna be massive here. Absolutely massive. I mean, it's gonna be the Moonblast from Hell. Faro is back. Let's see, and we see stealth rock damage. This is this is a real deal. <laughs> Did I have a real switching versus this? Really? I mean, theoretically, Tolf can come in and just like sponge a hit. Okay, sure, is risk of getting burned. Yeah, I mean, it's not my safest play. I'd rather just uh, force him out, which is in this situation is kind of plenty. Um, I mean, what could he have? Toxic spikes, yeah, there you go. We're looking at those. And leftovers. So I don't have poison type, this is kind of... This is kind of pushing it for me. Darples is a play. Don't like that that is my play, actually. Can nasty flop, but without the defense boosts feel redundant. I rather break the sash that comes in on He stays in. Absolute mad lad. Second layers of spikes? I don't know. We got the flinch, so he is sack playing for sure. He could be carrying body press, um, which I realize now it probably was his play. So dark pulsing again. Um, and we will knock out the Config Rika, so hopefully we get a chance to spin here. Somehow. We need a spin. Like, badly. Let's see, Duchess. Yeah. This could be choice. It's gonna trace my burden, that's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, I want to take this risk. The way I see it, like Moonblast should do a whole lot, Sun should do a whole lot, but it shouldn't be carrying Mystical Fire. They usually carry Focus Blast. And if you break, break that right, then, you know, I guess the spikes are here to say. Let's see... Moonblast, cool. Resisted hit, theoretically. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's not the worst thing I ever took. Um, but uh, yeah, we're absolutely going to raise of mystical fire. Uh, I just really hope his choice locked. It's a bit of a risk play here. Not choice. That's unfortunate. That's going to absolutely knock us out. That sucks actually. Though I had that like back in my head. You know, that's that's a very real situation. So right. Um, Sending in Groot. I'm basically gonna head smash here. Like, I have a sucker punch, but I hope. Actually, yeah, let's sucker punch. He has no reason switching out. If he's offensive, he should be able to outspeed me. Yeah, nice. Nice! I <laughs> didn't do anything though. <laughs> Actually, it did. It did all right. It was absolutely not worth it, but it, it did all right. All right, <laughs> square one. Um, mm, 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 mm. This is turning out kind of kind of rough. Let's see. We are modest, so we are absolutely not pickle in this situation. Um, Sponge Lot can't do anything. Moonblast takes out most of my team effortlessly. Um, I do believe Brumbum can take a hit. 
but yeah we need to kind of get the train and yeah I, I need somehow to beat this his free moon blasting is absolutely pressuring me quite a lot I'm just basically leveling which which Pokemon could beat who. Because yeah, I believe that um, if I'm, I'm looking for a key player, um, I'm absolutely feeling uh, that Feeble is less efficient than... Um, but then I'll lose him, so... Yeah. Cycling. I actually go for Thunder Wave here in case it does something weird like Healing Wish. There's Moonblast, it's fair. Because I kind of want to sack play through this. I'm going to bring in Brumbum. Because Brumbum can do, th do things really well. It can Strength Sap and it can absolutely stall out the worst. Because the way I see it, Sorark should or and would have uh, carry in something like Sucker Punch. So acrobatics, nothing to it. Does decide to sack it, which will mean Kama O is a number one threat, depending on what my opponent has left to kind of force force me out with. Ooh, ooh, ooh. not nervous, not nervous. Because I don't know how much damage Sorak will do versus me. Here comes the Sil Valley. And it's Sil Valley. Which Sil Valley is this? Not very effective. It's Sil Valley Steel. They usually carry in. Hmm. Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon. All that jazz. Um. Hmm. Not what I was expecting, actually. Um, how many turns do I have left off uh, my terrain? Wrong button. Three turns. Oh, just get as much damage as possible in there. Basically, switch off my strath. Let's see, multi attacks. It's physical. That's interesting, we're easily gonna take that. So with that in mind, we strength sap here, of course. That's um, no brain play. Very surprises physical. 120 base powers, it makes sense, but it's still very surprised about that. I'll happily take your, I was gonna say your life, but <laughs> don't mean to like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Buddy, buddy. I guess we will wisp here. So he has a plus one right now. He must really be thinking. And I would too. I mean, Sil Valley Steel usually uses Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, pretty much, you know, a worse off. Um, what do you call it? Worse off uh, Magneton, but physical or Magnetone. Uh, and it, it's quite alright. It's a superb defogger, which is mostly what its role is solving. But seeing this physical is kind of cool. Multi attacks has got that boost. It's actually quite wonderful. I like it. Connect it. There we go. And if it doesn't crit me, then we win this matchup. Basically. Keep Soul Stancing. So that's real aggressive. So now he's theoretically a plus three. Um, Recrobatics here, really hope I can stomach a hit. Multi attack, please chew this. Oof. Absolute beast. 
Beast Mode Driftblim. I'm just telling you guys right now, this is the weirdest, best thing that ever happened to me. And I think my opponent really is thinking, what? What is this set? And all I can say is, I don't know. <laughs> brum Brum. Oh, it's parting shot. Alright, so it's not sacking it, but it definitely gave me plenty of HP left. So I figure Sorok is switching here. But I have no idea. Yeah, it's, that is a pure variant. Let's see. So it most likely was Sash. That's the only way I can uh, kind of live it here. But it's definitely special. So let's see, Acrobatics. Ah, not enough to kill. And Dark Pulse. Absolute destruction. Oof, that's rough. However, I think Bernedictus looks to be very, very threatening in its own right. So we need to knock this guy out somehow. So all I really hope, like, Burning Jealousy is my best move on this. Sludge Bomb, please take this. Ah, yes. That was a crit too. Really hope Burning Jealousy actually knocks him out. I mean, I have no idea if it's enough. Oh yeah, whew, like, whew. cool. So right, we're in the end game now. There's no way I was going to say Drifblim, either, like, thinking about it. It's a damn shame that it isn't stronger. So here comes Chronicle. And this Drodigon, all things considered, could ruin me. Because it can carry Scale Shot, which actually is uh, kind of annoying. We're fast release, we get as much time as possible in there, a flinch would be plenty. Yes, cool. So, get Bernadictus in without having to worrying about him getting a scale shot. However, I am paralyzed, so I will always be slower. Which means if scale shot will do a good chunk of damage on me, if not even killing me. So my play here is actually Iron Defense in I could go for body press, but at this point I need to stomach a few hits. Much, much more than I'm made for. Yeah, that's the play. Dragon Claw. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna win this. Um, and I'll get for the paralyzer, it didn't matter. So to my opponent Troisky, GG buddy, that was actually quite fun. Um, even if I got this, like I said, that, that I did decide to attack, that body press would not have mattered. However, getting me paralyzed with the body slam actually was quite decisive because I would have been able to outspeed here if I wasn't. And uh, kind of for a second forgot about that, so I guess I should have sacked Kamo anyway. Uh, but that said, I still had a lot of fun in this game. So to my opponent Troisky, very good game. Nice job on you, buddy. And for everybody watching, as always, you know, thank you for doing just so. Don't forget, of course, like and subscribe. And check out Troisky. If you want to battle him, take that chance. He is a great guy. <laughs> you know, this was clearly a very creative sim. So really, I think I had a bit of an edge with Kamo, but that's about it. Everything else was just jokes. And Drifblim yet again showing that it's just an absolute beast in this environment. So with that said, as always, thank you for watching. And uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye.